Yo, what's up guys? We got some brand new Yu-Gi-Oh cards. They're finally revealing that V-Jump promotional special card that I believe is for Super Heavy Samurais. Uh, we've got, it looks like Kozaki's back at it again doing some crazy stuff with some fusions and a brand new, uh, very interesting card, kind of like Hall of the Haunted. All right, so starting right off, this is Super Heavy Samurai uh, Constable, I guess it's his name, uh, for the TCG Super Samurai uh, Constable. Uh, anyways, uh, Earth Machine at level four. And this one, by the way, is not coming out in Cyberstorm Access. This is a V-Jump promo, so we may get it in some other form in the tcg so anyways um uh, level four 500 1500 defense um you can only use the first and second effect of this card's name each once per turn so the first part is if this card is no more special summon you can add one face up machine pendulum monster extract to your hand this could actually be used in multiple different decks and then the second part is if you have no spell and traps in the graveyard you can tribute this card as possible one earth machine monster uh, with 1,500 or less attack from your hand or graveyard. Oh, man, if this was from the deck, this would be really cool. Now, this could actually be utilized for a lot of different archetypes. I'm curious to know um, what other cards can you actually get. So, it's an Earth Machine. Let's actually bust up uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro. Um, so, it's, uh, what is it, Earth Machine 1,500 or less. Okay, so, um, oh, I guess there's a new update. We'll get that update later. Um, so, we got to go to uh, Monster. We're going to go to Earth. Uh, and then it's also got to be a machine and it says 1500 or less so let's see as far as the targets go obviously we kind of want it to be an effect monster maybe there are some vanillas that could be used but i'm really here for the effect monsters and it sorts them already defaulted by the attack and so there's going to be probably a bunch of different targets uh i guess cell phone could be and remember it's any machine it doesn't have to be super heavy samurai so um it is going to be more generic so i mean you can get some of the morphtronics i guess lefty and righty uh those would be targets you got the junk career obviously super heavy samurais you can even go for the, some of the maybe the death bots synchron explore i mean the doors are really opening up for this quibble hedgehog is actually kind of a cool card as well there is uh, technically infinite loops with quibble hedgehog so you can maybe make that a little bit more consistent card trooper that's an og Yu-Gi-Oh card that i'm very familiar with but as far as it being super meta i mean heck there's a lot of great machine uh, earths uh, just in the game in general right uh but you do have to have no spell and traps uh so that it could be a downside so super heavy summer can make more use of it but hey i still think it's a, definitely a viable option all right so next up um we've got this card uh that's like a double called the haunt and i've seen some people talk about this card being super op but i think at the end of the day um it does have some uses let's talk about this so let's go over the effect first this is double hooking this one is coming out in cyberstorm access so it's a continuous trap card that says you can only activate one card with this card's name per turn the first part says activate this card by discarding a card then target up to two monsters in your graveyard and special summon them if any of the targeted monster leaves the field destroy this card and if this card leaves the field destroy the target monster so again very similar to call of the haunted but you get a discard a card now the discard part isn't at the end of the effect so i'm pretty sure a lot of things would miss the timing however fabled uh, may be able to benefit off of this because i'm pretty sure a fabled regards of how you discard it so i'm wondering if you can also target the discarded uh card so it's two monsters in your graveyard uh called the haunted uh does let you just only get one and this is up to so you could technically still select one it could act as a discard outlet but at that point you're just going minus one for like a call of the haunted is it actually going to be very good now uh you could actually open up the doors for a potential like uh, lockdowns. Um, I'm thinking like uh, archetypes uh, that have those double monsters where you have to attack them. I believe Doop Frog has a lock, Solar Flare Dragon has a lock. So to be able to target instantly two of those monsters that can create an instant lock, maybe someone will cheese with it. But how viable is that in the meta of Yu-Gi-Oh? Probably not the greatest. But there could be other archetypes. I mean, basically uh, two cards you can bring back. I uh, maybe go for you know a rank play, which can be kind of cool as well. And then this card would then linger up on the field, and then maybe you can bounce it back with certain other effects uh what is it birdman maybe can bounce this back or just other cards that can bounce this card back um i'm thinking even you could go for something uh there's probably a synchro or another monster because they don't have to have the same level or anything like that um you could go for a monster that would bounce back this card and then you just reset this card so it does have some potential now because you can only get one card with this card's name per turn it kind of prevents some sort of like loops or weird stuff from going on but still nonetheless uh potentially a cool card if someone can figure out what card can you synchro for or make and then bounce this card back to your hand and then reset it and you can you know keep on using it right next up though uh we've got fusion duplication so this has got the, the mad scientist he's always in a lot of crazy uh cards that usually are banned but anyways fusion duplication is a normal trap card that says i think it was like was it magical scientist or is it or is it i think eventually it becomes like kozaki anyways that's part of the yugi lore uh normal trap card says you could only activate one card with this card's name per turn target one polymerization normal quick play spell card or fusion normal quick play uh spell card in any graveyard and banish it and if you do this card's effect becomes that card 
cards uh, effect when the card is activated. So it says effect no cost, so you don't even have to pay the cost. So that could be actually pretty big with Super Poly just... I mean, would you play triple super poly, triple fusion duplications? Uh, maybe you're playing like Shadal, so you can mix in the super poly a little bit easier, or other archetypes like brand fusion, variants, albaz, and stuff like that. I think this card can be actually kind of cool, being able to, again, just go for uh, some super polys without having to discard. Now, obviously, this card would still need to activate and it would have to target, so they can still negate it. It's not like super poly, because you would still have to stop this card uh and if you did then it wouldn't be able to copy it right so i think this card's uh, actually pretty cool it could open the doors for some interesting plays but let me know guys what you thought of the brand new Yu-Gi-Oh cards down below but anyways thanks for tuning if you guys enjoyed the video drop a like on it if you want to see more new Yu-Gi-Oh cards in the future this is the first time here make sure you're subbed with the bell noting on and i'll see you in the next one we'll cover more v-jump promos and cards and stuff for access peace